Okay, I'm going to show you how to convert uh, fractions to decimals using a model. So, uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, this here is a is a base 10 um, model, and um, what it shows is it shows one whole broken up into a hundred pieces. So these these pieces would be hundreds. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to convert three fifths into um, a decimal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the whole into fifths. So I'm going to take the whole thing and cut it into five equal pieces. So as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to shade in three of them. So um, if this looks confusing, um, superimposed upon the hundredths, then here I'll just separate it so you can see that this is three-fifths. All right, um, to convert it to a decimal, um, we're going to put it back over the <clears throat> base 10 model. And if you notice that I can convert this into tenths I see these call you see these columns there's ten of those so I'm going to change fifths into tenths now if that looks still looks confusing because right now it's cut up into hundreds so let me just simplify it there so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten pieces and six of them now are shaded so three-fifths equals six-tenths. <clears throat> um, the way you would find that mathematically is you'd multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number in this case which is two. Three times two is six and five times two is ten. So what we've done is we've created basically just an equivalent fraction but, the, but this time the equivalent fraction either has a ten or a hundred or a thousand as a denominator because those are um, uh, decimal place values. So in this case we have six tenths um, and then we just write the decimal the same way. So six tenths. <clears throat>